In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an ultra mini Ojo de Dijos. So at this point, you should be pretty comfortable making a regular Eye of God or Ojo de Dijos craft. We're going to really challenge ourselves now and make an ultra mini one. Now, if you're not someone who's already comfortable making a regular size Ojo de Dijos, um, you may want to try going on my YouTube channel and doing the regular size one and getting comfortable with it with like popsicle size sticks and regular yarn. Um, or you can just really try to challenge yourself and jump into this. That's up to you. So you can see this is ultra teeny tiny. Um, now for this particular project, we are going to be taking all of these little tiny Ojo de Dijoses and... I don't know if I said that right, and lining them up and actually putting them in a picture frame to make um, one beautiful piece of collaborative art for our Tivity Night. So these little guys are not going to be going home with you today. So a couple things that you're going to need are going to be two miniature sticks. Now um, when we do the big ones, I usually make you tie the sticks and everything, but because these are so tiny and it's so challenging. I have already put a little dot of hot glue to um, put them on there. You're welcome very much. Then you need two different colors of bright embroidery floss. Now, we have a wealth of yarn in the Fiber Arts Center, but we do not have a lot of embroidery floss in the Fiber Arts Center because a, we just don't have a lot of it, and B, it's a lot more expensive than regular yarn as far as like per foot. So please make sure you're not being wasteful with this. Please don't, you know, take it home because you want to make a hundred of these. Um, for this particular project, please just use what we're, um, what I'm asking you to use. Um, you're also going to need a ruler and a pair of scissors. So to start out, um, if the embroidery floss looks like this, what you want to do is slide these little paper tubes off and then you can just take a little bit from here. Um, you can also open up the center of it and it's actually like a loop. Oops. Okay, um, please try really hard not to tangle these or anything but let it be like a loop and you're going to unwind a little bit. Now you are going to get the ruler and I want you to measure for this first part nine inches on the ruler, okay? And then snip on the nine inches. Then I would like you to get your second color and measure nine inches on there as well. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to take both pieces, trust me you'll be glad that you did this earlier on, and we're going to put them together, wrap them around our finger like a loop, pull through the loop, and slide the knot down. Okay, so now we have a nice little knot and we've combined the two pieces. Then snip the tail as close to the knot as you can get it, and now you have one half of it's red and one half of it is aqua. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with my red in my center. And actually right now I'm going to put blue paper underneath myself so you can actually see the red um, while we're working. So you want to start in the center. Pull part of the tail out, and just like we do with the regular Ojo de Dijos, you want to tie this onto the center. So it's like the first part of tying your shoe. And you're going to pull nice and tight. You're going to have a little tail here, and then just do it one more time. Okay, now this is definitely going to be trickier than doing the large one only because it's just smaller. So maybe you could even ask a friend to hold this steady for you while you do it. Um, don't get frustrated, just know it's gonna be a little challenging because it's so tiny. 
Now, once you have that attached and you snip the extra tail off, you are going to go down with it first, wrap around and turn. 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 And you're just gonna keep doing this. Wrap around, turn. Wrap around, turn. Okay, you're just gonna keep going. You're gonna see it's gonna start to look like this. Now, this is what the front will look like. The back, you're gonna actually see the little bars on there, okay? So just stay consistent um, while you're doing this. Don't get frustrated. If you make a little mistake, you can just unwind it. And like I said, this is a really challenging little fiber arts project because it's so tiny. Now, I've continued to just do my same wrap around turn, wrap around turn. And you can see that because I was smart and I tied my two together earlier on, now I don't have to do that while they're connected to the sticks. So now I'm starting to move into my aqua blue or aqua green. Wrap around, turn, wrap around, turn, wrap around, turn, wrap around, turn, wrap around, turn. Now, once you can't go anymore, wrap around, you're gonna have a little tiny tail when you can't complete that. Then you're just going to tuck it around the back and be done. Now, usually at this point, when we do the big one, you would tie it around. If you wanna try that, you can, but it's really tricky. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is just give it to me. So just leave it like this and I will take it and I will put a little dot of hot glue on the back for you and close it up. Um, that way you don't have to do the knotting and tying, okay?